Hey, you're back. Listening to the Get Out Deck Guy with Steve and Damon Day. Damon can be found at DamonDay.com. I can only be found here. (laughs) (laughs) So, Damon, you had a burning topic you wanted to talk about. You mentioned it to me earlier. I think it's a great topic. Let us have it. Yeah, I did. It was that uh, the big controversy going on right now with Walmart, uh, Walmart Spark delivery, and whether there's you know illegals taking the orders, and there's all kinds of stuff going on about whether they're legal, not legal, whether they have valid driver's license, insurance, whether they're uh, stealing identities or purchasing identities and using multiple phones and multiple accounts, and all kinds of stuff. We don't really know what's true. You and I actually have different opinions on it. And um, my opinions are based on things I've seen and talked to Walmart employees when I'm out there. Your opinions are based on the things that that you've read and you've researched. Well, and my my things are based on... I'm not saying one's right and one's wrong. I'm saying we have a difference of opinion on it. I totally agree with that. But my my opinion is also based on uh, logic and 65 years of experience. It's funny. Yesterday, I was talking to an illegal alien, uh, and talking to them just about this particular topic. And they said, they they chuckled and laughed, uh, just like I did, because they said in their community, they can't win either. The people who get out there and they hustle and they try to make money and they do what they can and they don't sit on their ass, get criticized for taking jobs. But there are plenty of people who just sit at home and don't want to go out and do it, uh, and they don't want to explore other opportunities. And I think those groups of people exist in every strata of the population. I don't think it's linked to one particular thing. And when I mentioned the whole idea about cartels making you uh, work hard to deliver groceries at Walmart, uh, (laughs) they bust out in a big laugh because they said, if cartels wanted to make the most amount of money, don't you think they'd be selling drugs instead of delivering diapers? <laughs> well, here, here's the thing. I think we can dissect it, break it down a little bit, because there is one thing that you and I do agree on, mm-hmm. and that is that this is entirely a Walmart problem. Yeah. Right? Regardless of whether or not you think somebody came and is here legally or not, honestly, that doesn't even matter. No. Well, what what I what I'm more focused on and what I want to focus on is whether there are, whether Walmart is complicit oh, yeah. in allowing people to uh, circumvent their safety protocols and with potentially no license, no driver's license, no valid insurance, mm-hmm. and maybe even no registration on a car, going in completely unvetted. You know, there's no background check if you're got you're you know buying a an account or a stolen ID or whatever right. it is, and my issue is, is Walmart allowing this to happen and ter- willingly turning a blind eye? My contention is they are, and they are because their groceries are getting delivered. Uh, and I, I agree. think they're going to continue to turn a blind eye to, and again, whether it's illegals or not, that's not even the issue. Like, I like that comment we got on the last video. It was like, <laughs> I, I like the, the original illegals talking about uh, immigrants. Yeah. It's like, lady, whatever. We're not well, talking about I think 1900. Can, I think we can both agree on this fact, 1800, which, actually. which is all. Those other assumptions, all right, outside of what we're talking about, Walmart, all the other assumption, guesses, fears, conspiracy, whatever opinion that that anyone has about that, I put that in the who the fuck cares bucket because there's not a damn thing you can do about it. And let's say that, you know, all that stuff is true. Ultimately, Damon, it all comes down to what you just said is. This is Walmart's issue. They're not stopping it. They're con- allowing it to continue for whatever reason, whether it's bureaucratic inefficiency, desire, they're getting a benefit out of it, whatever it is. But I think that Walmart sees the trend of what lots of other people are seeing with delivery apps, which is income is just continuing to go down, down, down. And they just want their groceries delivered or their products delivered or picked up at the lowest price. Yeah. So here's here's what's gonna here's when Walmart probably will do something about it. Right mm-hmm. now, a whole bunch of drivers putting out videos complaining about immigrants selling their jobs. Walmart ain't gonna do shit about that. They don't care. Okay. Mm-hmm. But one of two things 
will eventually happen, and then Walmart will probably do something about it. One, unfortunately, there's going to be some incident, some big incident that gets some attention, whether it's mm -hmm. a major traffic accident or a, who knows what, anything can go on. But if some lawyer finds out that there was some major issue and somebody got hurt or killed and Walmart was aware that they had people delivering you know, items to people's home and into their neighborhoods that were not vetted, there was no mm -hmm. background check done uh, because there you know, was a fraudulent ID involved and Walmart didn't, but knew about it and didn't do anything to prevent it or take measures to prevent it, some lawyers are going to have a field day with that, and then Walmart may step well, up because it's going to hit their bottom line. I would disagree, but I will hold well, that okay. to you. You finish your you second. Can dis you can disagree all you want, but well, until you agree with me, you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's why I disagree, so. because I think it's important to, to read whatever the customer contract is with Walmart regarding delivery, because it might just say in there that there's no guarantee, the drivers have not been screened, you know, anything else. The, the, Does it say that? Does not say that. Oh, uh, oh, what? In the, 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 not your, not your app, what the customers see. What is, you think, what are you the, think Walmart says, Hey, by the way, we haven't screened these people. They're coming in completely unvetted. Do you want them to come to your home and take a picture of your ID? I, you I think, think that's that, what it says. I, I think that there's probably something in there that talks okay. about the delivery, about the implication of merchantability and fitness, and that uh, they make no guarantee about that. Okay, so so let's take Steve at say in you know it could be right. Let's say it says something like that, and Walmart's passing the buck. It's not our mm -hmm. problem. That right. brings me to my point number two, that should it can happen, and then Walmart might do something about it. Which is the customer either learns Steve is correct, which I don't think he is, but finds out Walmart doesn't give a shit about you, the customer. They'll let anybody into your house and anybody into your neighborhood. Now the customer is going to have to say, you know what, I don't want to order from Walmart anymore. When enough customers decide, you know what, I don't like the fact that somebody that's not vetted, no background mm -hmm. check, potentially no driver's license, no insurance driving on my streets in my neighborhood, getting my gate codes, um, you know, potentially coming into my house and putting the groceries in the kitchen. I've done that for customers that have asked me to do mm -hmm. that. And I, I was under the impression these people worked for Walmart. I was under the, you know, as a customer now, because these people don't work for Walmart. They work for Spark or whatever, mm -hmm. or DDI Works. But maybe the customers have this false sense of, hey, these are Walmart employees. These people are vetted. There's background checks, licenses. Well, if the customers eventually figure this stuff out, and I've had customers tell me they're not comfortable giving their ID to some of these people that have been delivering yeah. lately, okay. when enough customers stop ordering, which is where the movement is going to have to come from, it's going to have to come from the people giving Walmart the money, not the drivers. The drivers are a dime a dozen. But when the customers start to get to the point where they're like, I'm not comfortable with what's going on then Walmart may do something about it. But until one of those two things happen, Walmart's not going to do anything. Yeah, I, I don't think that if uh, if somebody gets into an accident delivering groceries for Walmart, uh, a Walmart might be named in a suit, but I think there's very little chance of it being majorly successful because all contractors, all independent contractors are drivers for Walmart at Spark. So you're not even an employee for them. Um, have, and... you, have, you, have you met attorneys? Oh yeah, I have. I'm just saying okay. that All right. it would be that would be, well, you know, it, this is America. Anybody can sue you for anything at any Absolutely. time. Absolutely, reason, right? But being yeah. sued doesn't Walmart mean Walmart will be named in the lawsuit. Doesn't mean they're oh, going to yeah. win, but it's going to get attention. Yeah, it'll somebody be a... gets in a major vehicle accident and somebody dies, and uh, some attorney finds out wa uh, some guy was delivering gr Walmart groceries mm -hmm. with no license, no insurance, no registration. You don't think Walmart's going to get named in that suit? Oh, they'll be named, but I don't see it being a significant liability for them. Even when they, they can prove, or they probably can prove they knew about it and didn't do anything about it? Well, there you go. Could have been prevented? Oh, uh, you would have to have a track record where somebody complained about a driver, and there's a, a, a record that can be discovered about that. Oh, oh, I look, just in my, here, and again, this goes back to, I've been trying to stay out of this fray because it's not my fight, not my battle, whatever. This is why I tell people you can't rely on gig apps as your main source of income because you are easily replaced. Yeah. Anybody can do your job, even if they don't speak the language, they have a fake phone, a fake ID. Clearly, they can just come in and take your job. I don't see a lot of videos on YouTube about nurses and doctors and engineers all complaining that somebody came across the border and took their job at the hospital the next day. I don't well, see that. I mean, being in the medical field, uh, it's been, you know, a number of years, but that was always an issue early on about people from uh, South America and, and Cuba are coming in and taking primary care physician jobs 
and willing Pri to accept labor. Which, I mean, which primary care? Like, we're, we're talking about jobs that you need to have some skills, you need to have some education to be able to get hired and do them. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Well, hey, it's kind of like college degrees, right? Sometimes people yeah. just lie about it. <laughs> I've been saying that for years. Yeah. You don't need the college degree. You just need to convince somebody you have one as long right. as you can do the job. Well, I, I was hey, ahead of my go, time, me, man. Let me go back I was ahead here. of my time. Uh, you know, a number of years ago, I hired an employee who uh, represented himself as a, a CPA. He went to the University of Maryland. He was a certified public accountant. He had all these years of experience, and we hired him as an accountant to be an advisor to help consumers with their uh, financial issues. And we randomly did a background check, and he lied about the whole thing. And what did you do? Oh, I fired him. Fired him. Walmart. Yeah. yeah. What are you supposed to do? when you? So let me give you a couple of case in points because I talked to well, – I know all these guys at Walmart when I go do deliveries, right? Yeah. I can give you some anecdotal stories, and I can give you things that I'm hearing. And this is just at my local Walmart, and right? So when I watch these videos of these guys complaining, I know this stuff is going on. Again, I don't know the degree to how organized it is, yeah. but it does seem very suspect. All of a sudden, they just all kind of showed up all over the country. At, it feels like it was overnight. So it seems very organized for being unorganized, but I'll just say that. Number one, I talk to Walmart employees that when I, when I get an order, right? See, if I, I see an order, I like it, I accept it. Mm -hmm. The Walmart employee at the store that's going to bring the groceries to my car knows me, my name. Right. The, the driver's name is on that order. So before I even get there, oh, Damon's coming. Yeah. They know the driver that's coming. So when they come out and they see some guy that they haven't met before and his name is whatever, Mike, let's say, mm -hmm. right? It's Mike, okay? <laughs> so Mike comes and goes, oh, okay, da, 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 da. they don't check IDs or anything like that, right? They just put the groceries in the car. This is Mike. He's got the, it's on the phone. He's got the code number. That's right. Whether, you know, okay. Now the next day, Julie's coming in for the order. Mm -hmm. Walmart employee goes out. Looks like Mike. This is, <laughs> this I know. is Mike here, I know. but it says Julie. It does. Hey, I'm not, I'm not, hold on. I'm not supposed to say anything. I'm the Walmart employee. I can't say nothing. Right. I know something funny going on. I know this guy is not Julie because he was Mike yesterday. Mm -hmm. Oh, but put it in the cart. Maybe tell my supervisor. Supervisor doesn't do anything about it. This is going on right now. Okay. I next agree. day, next day, Julie's Bruce. Right. Right. Now Bruce is back. Same guy. Sounds like Bruce. <laughs> yeah, but you see, so none, we, of the, none of this matters because unless the employees have the authority or Walmart has a process it, or... Oh, I know Walmart's not doing anything. I'm talking about when, when, you, when people get mad when you dismiss that it's not happening. It's happening. Oh, I... I hey, you know, shit happens everywhere. Uh, ultimately, I think that this is a misdirection because... Ultimately, let, people are getting gigs that you're not, and they're sitting in the parking lot, proximity, or whatever the reason why they're getting them. This is all a dead-end street. Gig well, jobs are going to pay less and less and less. And so if, if people are bitching and complaining over all sorts of things. Now, here, here's a, another business policy. So I've got a friend that works at Lowe's Hardware, and employees at Lowe's Hardware are fired on the spot if they try to stop a shoplifter. Oh, now, I, I think we're agreeing on the same thing. I'm, I'm. My point is, the drivers are pissed off at Walmart. Yeah. I think that's where you're. Uh, well, where you're I think wrong. the drivers are misdirecting their piss offedness at people in a parking lot or, or people. Well, who they they're, think... obviously they're going to take a brunt of it if they think they're you know cheating the system. You know, I have to have a driver's license. I have to have a valid ID. I have to have registration and pay for that. I have to have insurance and pay for that. Yeah. And now if they're sitting there and they're feeding their family with mm -hmm. these gigs and then somebody pulls in that doesn't do all of these things yeah. and they know for a fact they can see it with their own eyes and they have multiple phones in their hand and yeah. the names are different and that's been confirmed to them. Well, they're definitely going to be pissed off at that person, but they're well, also going to be pissed off at Walmart when Walmart doesn't do anything. So they're they can they can be mad at both parties well, at the same time. Here's how to you, your point, mm -hmm. that's not going to help them. It doesn't do anything for them to be mad. Mm -hmm. It's not going to help them until Walmart does something. Well, he, here's how you, you make an effective change to the situation. If you are a driver and you see these things, you shouldn't confront the person who you think is sitting there with three phones stealing your orders. You know, you don't know until you get the facts. But uh, you can get the license plate. You can create no. 
Those temporary tags. Most, okay. A lot of them are fake. Well, you can create a, a record. What of, are the chances of that? All these old cars coming in all about the same time hey, all, all have temporary all, tags? All you can do is complain. All you can do is file well, a complaint and create a record. Until, yeah. in, uh, outside of that, see, here's, here's something that has come up in our past lives uh, being debt consultants. So I remember talking to this guy once, and he was bitching and complaining about people living on public aid and uh, using food stamps to live and everything else. And he was completely outraged about it. And I said, well, what, what did the, the government say when you complained about them? Why would I do that? <laughs> so if, if you're witnessing these things, I urge everyone to raise, not raise it to an employee. Go inside. Take the time. There, uh, and there. Are, I, I know drivers that have done that, and they've well, been told there's nothing we're going to do about it. They need to continue to do it. There's not going to be but, an instant solution here. So we haven't even gotten to my story yet, which which prompted this whole thing. Because again, we've been trying to kind of stay out of it. You know, we're focused on positive solutions, how to make money. We didn't mm -hmm. want to like jump into this because again, it really doesn't matter. It goes back to what we said at the beginning. Whether it's whether it's happening or it's happening, but whether how it's happening, what the intricate details are of you know, if they're buying fake accounts or whatever, at the end of the day, if Walmart's not going to do anything, right? you just can't, you know, you either got to just live with it and just right. get the scraps as, as as a valid spark driver that has or all move, the right move things. On. Move on. You, you got to go do something else. But here's what prompted it, right? I got a delivery. Uh, it's been like two days now, right? I went and delivered this to this very prestigious neighborhood. This neighborhood is one of the only neighborhoods in the area. One of the only neighborhoods I've ever been to that when you check in, it's guard gated, but you know, most guard gates, you just go, oh, I've got a Walmart delivery for so-and-so. And they say, oh, what's the address? Blah, blah, blah. Okay, have a good day, right? I found you can get into any community. I, never mind, I'm not going to say that. I don't want to put that out in the public. <laughs> Cut that. <laughs> Cut it out. All right. So, but this community, they scan your driver's license. Mm -hmm. When you pull in, it doesn't matter if it's DoorDash, Walmart, it doesn't matter, any delivery, get your license. They put it in a little machine and it scans it, probably goes into some database. I don't know what it does. But they do it every time, right? I just, you just know this. You pull up, driver's license is out. So I pull in. I have a delivery in this neighborhood. I get there. Uh, the guy takes my address. I tell him where I'm going, and he kind of laughs. This is, this is the neighborhood security guard. Mm -hmm. And he laughs. He goes, you know, you're the third Walmart driver that's been trying to get their groceries to them today. There's the, they'll be pretty happy that you're finally able to get in. And I said, what do you mean? Oh, well, earlier today, there was two different drivers that came. We had to turn both of them around because neither one of them had driver's license. Mm -hmm. So somebody came, got a Walmart delivery. Walmart didn't check their ID. They just put the groceries in the car. They drove to the neighborhood. The neighborhood security guard says, I'm sorry, without a driver's license, I'm not going to let you in the neighborhood. We don't know who you are. So they made him turn around and go back. They took the groceries back to Walmart. Walmart puts it back in the hopper, yeah. goes to the next driver. Next you driver, know, and this is like eight miles away, drives out there. Same thing has happened. No, no driver's license. You, turns should around, go back out, goes, you should go back out there again and talk to that guard and ask him, how many other people have been turned away at the gate? Like DoorDash, plumbers, so, you know, whatever. Yeah. Well, I'm not saying it's a problem specific to Walmart, but Walmart, the, the, the security guard for the neighborhood is having to do Walmart's job, not letting unvetted people into their neighborhood. Walmart could solve this fairly easy, at least make it harder. I check in to do the groceries. Amazon does this. Hmm? Lyft does it, Uber but does it, all these other gig companies do it. But I heard of Why a way can't to you get ask it, for a driver's license? No, I heard of a okay, way to get I, around I, the Amazon thing. I don't know if you heard how? about this. Uh, you have somebody like yourself check in for the delivery and then mm -hmm. pass the vehicle off after you get the stuff. Okay, but now it's a lot harder, right? You got to have the actual person at least with you. Mm -hmm. Right now, you, you could be a Sally. I could go in, I'm Sally. Right. I identify as Sally today. Maybe that's the issue. I don't know. That's a whole nother video. But here's how you do it. Right. It's a pain in the ass for the drivers, but it would at least help clamp down on a lot of the stuff. I come in to get the groceries. Got to scan my ID, not just show my ID. Got to scan it like with, with Amazon. It scans against the database. Make sure that's a valid ID based on the database. If someone's sophisticated enough to trick the database, it is what it is. But you got the ID. And now guess what? You look at the license plate on the car. Mm -hmm. Does the car, the name on the registration of the car, match the driver's license? If someone's sophisticated enough to trick all of that stuff, fine. I mean, there's only so much Walmart can do, but that would probably eliminate 90% of this BS because most of these cars, I don't even think have valid registration. 
You're telling me all these 1995 Honda Civics that are barely holding no, themselves I, together no, I'm not with saying paper that. license plates are valid, right? I'm not saying that, but what, is the door, what does DoorDash say about vehicle requirements? DoorDash doesn't care. Right. That's the DoorDash problem. <laughs> we can do another video on DoorDash. <laughs> We can yeah, do my, another video but that's, on DoorDash. That's my, that's my point, is as a driver, th there are only two things that you can do. Uh, three things. One, you can be pissed off. You can let it ruin your day. You can be irritated and take up too much of your life energy with this. Two, you could try to raise it as much as you can with Walmart Spark support or talking to a store manager. Or three, just move on. You're not going to solve this. Yeah, well, I, I agree with that, but I just want to put it out there that Walmart is aware of this. They're clearly aware. It's a very big problem. And so far, they don't seem to be doing anything to stop it. Right, until yeah, Walmart does. And, and if you're, oh, here's the other irony, right? One last story, and then and I'll let you go. So I go, this was a couple of weeks ago. I go deliver a bag of groceries to a customer, elderly gentleman. Uh, there's no alcohol in it, but there was some Sudafed or cold medicine or something. And the app says, oh, you got to scan a driver's license to drop this Sudafed off. Mm -hmm. And so I hand him the groceries, super nice guy. He's like, it's late at night. He's like, met me at the door. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. I need to scan your ID. He's like, what for? I'm like, I, I don't know. Uh, maybe there was medicine. He goes, there's some Sudafed. Mm -hmm. I'm like, yeah, I'm sorry. He's like, I'm sorry. I don't feel comfortable. I've had identity theft in the past. And Walmart already has my ID when I signed up. I, I don't feel comfortable. With my so we, and I was very respectful. I want to provide good customer service. But Walmart won't let me drop it. The app won't let me clear it and go to right. my next delivery until I've scanned an ID. It makes me scan an ID. It doesn't just let me wave it off, mm -hmm. right? So I go back and forth with the customer a little bit, try to explain my plight. And he's like, well, I don't want you scanning my ID into your personal phone. So I'm showing him, well, no, it's the Walmart app. Yeah. Here's where I scanned it. I'm trying to show him all this stuff. He goes, you know, the last guy that was here didn't speak English. I didn't, I wasn't comfortable with that, yada, yeah. yada, yada. So he finally reluctantly goes and gets his license and he shows it to me. Mm -hmm. He goes, see, I'm clearly over 21. The guy was like in his seventies at least, right? Mm -hmm. He shows to me, he goes, I'll show it to you, but I'm not comfortable with you scanning it in your personal phone. Yeah. And I said, I, I, I understand, but I, there's nothing I can do about it. And then, I mean, I finally was, just, he was just like, well, I, that's, I'm not gonna let you take a picture of the phone. And he already had the groceries in the house. He was, Why what am I gonna guy do? Stop ordering from Walmart. I don't know, but let me get to my irony, right? Uh, okay. So then the door closes. Now I'm stuck. I'm trying to not be a pain in the ass to the customer, mm -hmm. trying to do right by, trying to help Walmart get out of their own damn way because this customer is clearly irritated about not being able to get a Sudafed. Yeah. He's already got it. I'm just like, you know what, whatever. I call customer support. I explain to them. He's not comfortable doing the ID. And they're like, well, you need to um, take the order back to the store. Mm -hmm. I can't. It's 930 at night. The guy's already got it. I didn't even know I had to scan because there's no alcohol. It was like one bag until he'd already taken it in the house. And then I was like knocking on the door again. He had to come back anyway. So here's the irony of all ironies. They eventually cleared it out for me, but Walmart is adamant that the customer has to show ID to get medicine, to yeah. get uh, alcohol, everything. But they don't give a shit about giving that same stuff to me without me showing my ID. Why does the, what's, where's the chain of custody there? So Walmart gives me some unvetted, unlicensed, they're not checking my ID. They don't know who I am. They're given Julie, who looks like a dude, Yeah, you know, I, uh, the alcohol and the Sudafed, no ID required, but we go to the customer and Walmart hassles the customer hey, I, for the ID, but not the driver. I, what sense does that make? I have to go in 30 seconds, but let me just- It was a damn good point, Steve. The irony was. is thick up in here. Well, uh, let me just summarize that, uh, you, you know, you can be as, not you personally, but- People can be as irritated as they want about this stuff. Oh, it's great content. Yeah, but <laughs> you're not going to change the inefficiencies in the unexplained corporate policies that you've got all throughout the world. Um, I agree this one doesn't make any sense. Um, but until it changes, it is what it is. I got Steve to agree with everything I said. <laughs> Damon, <laughs> I will see you. Peace. Have fun at the doctor. All right. <laughs> Bye. Bye.